Today I wanted to show you how to um, back up a SD card uh, for Raspberry Pi using the DD utility. Uh, I had a recent incident where my SD card got corrupted and unfortunately I did not have a full backup so uh, that did not allow me to recover quickly. I had to uh, rebuild and then go from there. Uh, didn't have much on it but it was kind of a home production server for some scripts and some uh, small utilities that I kind of counted on. So that was kind of a, um, a bummer to make that happen. So I wanted to prevent that in the future. And so uh, I rebuilt the Raspberry Pi and uh, I uh, was going to take an SD image of it using a DD utility. So here I am in Linux. And uh, what I'm going to do is just bring up a terminal. And the first thing that you need to do is determine where your SD card is going to mount. So if you want to take a look at the before picture, you can just, you know, there's many couple ways to do this. Uh, I like to use the uh, LS block. So you can do LS block dash P. And that gives you what's mounted and kind of a nice little tree location. So you can see where that is now. So I'm going to go ahead and insert my SD card into this machine let it mount up and then um, you'll see the difference. Okay, so that now that it's mounted after I run the LS block dash P again, you're going to see a difference. What you see is you see that my flash drive, or my SD card, excuse me, is uh, mounted here as SDA. So we want to take a note of that particularly, SDA, uh, keep that a mental note, and we'll go ahead and move on. So um, at this point, we're ready to take the, uh, use the DD utility command to uh, take the image. So I'll just make it easy, just clear it out for you. Uh, and then I will just do the command. Now, DD is a very powerful uh, copy command uh, and convert command utility, so you have to be careful with what you're going to do. Uh, this is just a simple way to do it and the way I do it. Uh, you can look at the um, in the man DD to really see all the options that you can that you can do here and see how that goes. But for me today, uh, I will just go ahead and do the now I have to do sudo because that's just the way it works dd now I'm going to do my byte size at 4 megs and I got that from a raspberry pi.org um, site as they build their images using dd uh, this is just a suggestion that tends to work you have to find out if it does or doesn't you'll see how that works um, so Got to get my input of it. So in this case, the input is the um, SD card. Remember that SDA location in my case. So it's IF input file equals SD. Oops, take that SDA, and then um, my output file or location is going to be the OF equals, and then it could be the location of where you want to put it. For me, I'm going to put it on my home directory, and then I have a, a directory called uh, RPI just for purposes of things like this, and then I'll just call it however you want to call it. I'll just call it as uh, backup. Um, say today. IMG. Uh, additionally, I like to add a status um, into the command so I can see progress. If you don't add this status or if you have a DD command that's too old that doesn't support the status flag, uh, it will just be blank when you run it until it completes itself. So um, I know that this uh, DD utility is updated. So um, I will be fine using this flag. And 
I'm just going to also do the covers. Let's see. Now remember, DD is a very powerful command, so you want to make sure that you have all the commands right, or you can possibly wipe out the wrong partition, and that would be really sucky. Uh, or at least copy the wrong partition, uh, but it would definitely be bad if you're going to flip it, which we will do uh, in the next part of it as a little side thing. Is once you take the image, how do you put it back onto an SD card using the same DD command? So knowing that that looks good to me, um, I am going to hit enter. Of course, I have to enter in my uh, C the password. And there you go, it's going to start to copy up from the SDA or my SD card up to uh, that location I'm doing. Depending on the size of your SD card, it could take a while. Uh, I know from experience that this takes a little bit of time, and so you just kind of have to sit and wait and go from there. What I'll do is uh, I will um, pause the video, and then when it's done, uh, I will bring back up uh, the video and then we'll move on from there. Okay, now you see it's done. And uh, what will uh, come out after it's done is your in and out records. Uh, if you have your status bar, it'll show that too as well. So um, this is how you can uh, copy your SD card particularly for Raspberry Pi, um, up as an image, and then you can uh, save that image off. If you'd like, you can take a look at it. So what, you know, wherever you put the file, it will be, uh, will be there. So if you look here, you see that that's my file that I just produced. And uh, up next, we will take that image and uh, put it back onto the SD card as a recovery mechanism, saying, that, okay, uh, now that... Uh, my SD card is, is you know, trashed or whatever, you can get a new SD card and you have an image, at least to start with, maybe if you don't make a lot of changes so that you can get back into your production environment uh, quicker than I did the last time that I uh, had a problem with my SD uh, card corruption. So that's what's up next. Now I'm back. So, in this section, we are going to actually take uh, the image that we created, and now we're going to put it back on the SD card. So if you think about it, let's say that you have a corrupted SD card, and you need to, or for whatever reason, need to put your image back onto the SD card that you just took, your backup copy. So in this case, um, this is the steps that you can do to do that. So as we start out, um, we can always go and uh, gotta find out where the SD card is mounted. Now I have already put in my SD card into my computer, so it is mounted and ready to go. So uh, I'll use my LS uh, block tool or command. And you can see here that my, L my SD card is mounted right here. So that's good to see. And so the difference between taking an image of the SD card versus putting it back on is that we have to unmount any partitions that may or may not be on that drive. So in this case, you see here that I have SD1 and SD2 as partitions on the drive already. So I have to unmount that. So I'll go ahead and do that now. And we'll do the first partition, SDA1. And then you can always do it all in one line if you'd like, or you can do it individually. I'm going to do it in one line. Ask for my password. All right, so now it's unmounted. So now we're ready to put the image onto the disk or the SD card. So how you do that through using DD is kind of very similar to how we took the image, but we're just kind of reversing the input and the output files. So in this case, I will be doing sudo DD. I still use my bytes at four megs. And then in this case, my input file this time 
is going to be the image. Okay, so where was that image? Well, I put that image in Raspi dot today. So that's my image. And then where's the output? So this is our output file. And in this case, that's going to be dev slash s, oops, sda. Makes sense, right? Again, I like to see the status. So I'll add the status equals progress. And then I do a, just do the sync as well. So it is very important that you check your command line on this. When you're putting a image onto a partition or onto your, your drive here, if it's the wrong drive, you may mess up your drive. So we wanna verify that it is the right one. We have our input file from what it is, and then we know we're gonna put it on SDA. And so everything looks good from what I see here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And you see it starting to copy again with the progress uh, bar going on. So now we know it's working. Again, it's going to take some time to run. So you just have to let it run. And so I will be back after it completes. You see, it's now it's done. So now you're ready to eject the SD card and put that back into your Raspberry Pi. And when you boot it up, you should have a copy of your last full backup image and you can move on from there. I hope this has been helpful uh, and stay tuned for more videos like this. Uh, I'm interested in using Linux as well as networking tools to show how you can use these tools in a everyday setting for your home network. Thank you much.